The average American lifespan is 78 and a half years old, but some people are living far longer than that. We want to take a closer look this morning at Leslie Stahl's report for 60 Minutes last night. She learned about new research on fast-growing demographic people. She learned about new research on a fast-growing demographic of people over the age of 90. The subjects we spoke to had definitely been active, but they didn't strike us as having lived their lives worrying about their health. I'm not a big vitamin person. Have you watched over the years what you ate? Uh, not, not really. Dessert? Sure, I love dessert. <laughs> I always had a glass of wine before dinner, and now I still do, but I can't quite finish it. Clean living, huh? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> Not clean living. I don't know what clean living is. What about alcohol? Sure. I love wine. Do you take vitamins? Yes, a lot of them. So which vitamins helped? Antioxidants? Okay, vitamin E. We are, we're sitting at the edge of our chairs. Did it make a difference? Vitamin it was e? my favorite, but mm -mm. no. People who took vitamin E didn't live any longer than people who didn't take vitamin E. They also looked at vitamin A, C, and calcium. The short answer is none of them made a difference. None of them made a difference to living In terms of how long you live. What about alcohol? Oh, alcohol made a difference. But it may not be what you think. Moderate alcohol was associated with living longer than individuals who did not consume Wait alcohol. A a moderate alcohol, you live longer? Yes. Up to two drinks a day led to a 10 to 15 percent reduced risk of death compared to non-drinkers. Oh. Isn't that exciting? How <laughs> much? It was exciting. Dr. Claudia Kawas, who you just saw in Leslie Stahl's report last night, joins us this morning live from Los Angeles. She's a professor of neurology at the University of California, Irvine, and a lead author of the study. Good morning to you, doctor. Some people jokingly said that's the Charlie Rose. <laughs> the Charlie Rose program, but did I hear you correctly say this? This is what I like, that it's not good to be skinny when you are old, true? It is absolutely true that it's not good to be skinny when you're old. Why? Uh, I, th I think the human body has always tried to gain weight as we age, as much as we fight it, and maybe there's something adaptive going on here. We're not really sure why, but for a long time, and in many studies, not just the 90 plus yeah. study, We've seen that people who gain weight uh, by decades live longer. But is there a point at which you should not try to gain weight, uh, like up to 80, and then it's okay to gain weight after 80? But because we've always heard that, yeah. you know, being trim is good. Trim is good and healthy. Being trim is good. Being healthy is crucial. Exercising is very important, and was associated with living longer in, in every study I've ever seen. But um, gaining about five pounds per decade, probably from your 60s on, is generally associated with good longevity. Mm -hmm. What else did you find about these 90 plus that you studied? It's certainly about their activity level. Well, the more active you are, whether it was exercise or non-exercise activities, the longer you lived. I mean, we found that 45 minutes a day of exercise on average was optimal. But non-exercise activities, being with people, going to clubs, doing things, that never leveled off. Up to eight hours a day made people live longer. And, and according to what you've discovered, with respect to Alzheimer's, 40% of the people that you examine, it was something other than Alzheimer's, correct? Absolutely. We're not very good at diagnosing uh, dementia. I mean, for the most part, we can't tell what causes the patient's problems unless we look at the brain. But there's been an, an incredible technology surge over the last few years, and I think that we're going to see our ability to diagnose dementia improve. But nonetheless, 40 percent of the time, when people had dementia in our study and they came to autopsy, we had to say, we're really not sure what caused this problem, and mm -hmm. it wasn't Alzheimer's disease. It was something else. Dr. Claudia Cowes, good to see you. Thank you so much.